Kim TV and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, sa mga nag-comment na sa mga unahong video, shout out sa inyong lahat. So, hindi ko na kayo isa-isahin. I will proceed to my YouTube po, uh, vlog for uh, today, which is about the cell theory and cell structure. So, siguro, since first meeting, I will discuss the cell theory and bukas na lang or sa next vlog na lang yung cell structures kasi medyo mahaba yun. So, cell theory muna tayo ngayon. So, for those uh, senior high school students, who are taking up general biology I hope this video will help you guys and sana manood kayo at may matutunan kayo so let's check it out and magpapresent na ako so dito let's start I will be presenting so I hope na Ah, uh, sa mga ano diyan. So, uh, habang ginagawa ko 'tong video na 'to, Monday na, pero gising pa ako. Amaya ako matutulog na. So, i-record ko muna 'to para after lesson natin bukas, mapapanood niyo na 'to para sa mga mahinang connection or sa mga malayo sa pa. Ayan, sa so mga uh, mahina kasi ng internet. So, 'yan. So, welcome to Uh, welcome to General Biology 1 by Teacher Kim. So, for our today's lesson, are you excited for a fun learning les uh, session? So, I hope you are all ready. Now, before we start, since this is a new normal and this is an online class, I want you to make sure that you have the following. You have your phone or your laptop with you. The application that I told you to install and a good internet connection and most especially your willingness to learn okay now first the question is what is life so since this is general biology one the first question is what is life okay now wait. Mm -hmm. so let's go back So, we are going to answer that in your menti. Now, uh, when we say life, we can't really define that uh, easily. So, let's start with cell. So, since junior high, I know this is already discussed and it's already uh, taught to you by your teachers. So, cell. We all know that it is the basic unit of life, basic unit of structure and function. So, bakit? Now, we have here in the screen are the different examples of cell. We have the E. coli, the amoeba, and the saccharomyces. So, there are different types of cell. And then, I have here cell as a unifying team in, in biology. So, why do we say that, is a, that, it, that it is a unifying team in biology? So, uh, cell has these functions. It reproduces, it has movement, it transports. And there is an energy converse, conversion, also energy storage, metabolism, development, growth, repair, homeostasis, responsiveness, evolution, and heredity. So, next slide dito, makikita nyo is the pretest. So, hindi na tayo nyan. Let's proceed for the objective. So, today's lesson, our objective is for you to explain the postulates of the cell theory. Now, it is based on the curriculum guide and also based on your marks. Now, we will explore the different uh, uh, significant questions and we will answer this at the end of the lesson. First is, why is cell considered the fundamental unit of life? And then, who are the scientists that made significant contributions to the development of the cell theory? So, Well, cell theory. Let's start with the cell theory. So basically, basic. <laughs> so basic unit of life. So ayan, makikita niyo sa screen if makikita niyo if may edit ko to nakasama to. <laughs> Slide. So cell is the basic unit of life since in the organization or the hierarchy. So nasa pinakaibaba yung cell. Kasi yun yung pinaka-basic unit. And then, another one is that all living things are made up of cells. Whether it is a plant or an animal or other 
microorganisms that are made up of cells, and of course, cells arise from pre-existing cells. So, isa-isahin natin, let's have a breakdown about those postulate so cell as the basic unit of life let's start with the history of the cell theory so in 1595 hans and Zacharias johnson they are father and son and also they are lens grinder and spectacle maker so they are from netherlands and they figure out how to align and combine lenses to view things far away or up close. So they are credited by historians as the inventors of the first telescope and microscope. So sila yon. So basic lang yung pagkagawa nila, meron lang eyepiece and meron lang uh, objective yung lens na yon. So next is Robert Hooke. So we all, or maybe some of you are familiar with Robert Hooke. So he is an English scientist. So in 1635 to 1703, he discovered the cell after he examined under a compound microscope a very thin slice of core tissue. So he noticed that it has a honeycomb structure, which he said was made up of cells or small world compartments so his observations on the cell were published in 1665 in his book entitled the micrographia so however since the cork is just a piece of wood so there was anything left to see but the walls of those empty cells so uh we're familiar with this when we drink a ano a wine or in a wine bottle merong cork or during experimentation merong cork so ayon yun yung inobserve ni Robert Hooke and then it was published in his book in the micrographia yun yung makikita yung structure di ba ganun ang plant cell so ganun yung itsura niya and then next is Anton van Leeuwenhoek. So, I don't know kasi medyo may iba pa ang pag-pronounce kasi he's Dutch. He's a Dutch. So, basta. Let's stick with Anton van Leeuwenhoek. <laughs> so, in 1632 to 1723, he is a Dutch tradesman and craftsman with no formal education. But in 1675, he started making his own microscope. So, yung microscope na ginamit niya is a simple compound microscope and gawa niya lang yun. So, in 1676, he reported his discovery of forms of life including yung tinatawag natin ngayon even Lewin Hook algae and protozoans and nematodes and after he examined so he examined those protozoans from the lake or pond water samples under his microscope so technically sorry ko medyo mabilis ako magsalita so technically madumi yung pinagkuha niya so nakakita siya or naka ano siya nung mga animals na yun and then he called the minute uh, moving organ organisms as animal cules. So, why animal cules? Because small animals. <laughs> animal cules. <laughs> okay, that was in 17, uh, almost 1700s. Now, let's proceed. So, this is how it looked like. And then, ayan. So, he wrote a detailed doc documentation of his observation to the Royal Society. His letters were published, ayan, in the Philosophical Transaction of the Royal Society of London. So, ayan. He, because he observed bacteria and ito, trivia. So, according to my readings and sa tinuro sa amin before, so, si Anton Van Leeuwenhoek, he actually get samples from his own body like for from his own fluid from his mouth or from his sperm so he actually observed that sabi daw but maybe uh, sa tingin ko totoo yun okay now that's why he find out or he discovered the different bacteria and other protozoans now Bartholomew Charles Joseph Domatois he is a French biologist who first described cell division in plants so that was in 1797 to 1878 
And then, here comes the two. We have Robert Brown in 1773 to 1858. He introduced the term nucleus in 1833 as a pig spot near the middle of the cell. So, parang napansin niya yung nucleus. And then, Gabriel Gustav Valentin in 1810 to 1883, he made an accurate, first accurate description of the nucleus in 1835. Now, Matthias Jacob Schleiden in 1804 to 1881, he proposed that every structural element of plants is composed of cells. Why? Ano bang trabaho ni Matthias Jacob Schleiden? So, actually, he is a botanist. So, he is a botanist. He study plants. That's why he made that, he come up with that conclusion that plants are made up of cells. And then, another one is Tudor Schwann. In 1810 to 1882, he suggested that parts of animal tissues are made up of cells. So, that was in 1839. And for more than 2,000 years, a concept based on Aristotle doctrine of spontaneous generation dominated the mind of the mankind. So back then, people believed in spontaneous generation theory. According to the theory, life comes from inanimate objects or non-living things. So kayo, naniniwala ba kayo doon? So yun... Before yun ang cell theory, bago yung ma-develop. Now, parang... For example, as you can see here, yung iniwan na meat, nagrat, tapos may flies. So, di ba pag nabulok ang pagkain, lalangawin. So, ang mga tao dati, they thought that the flies came from the meat, the rotten meat. But then, uh, Francis Corredi, he is an author and tradi sabi niya, he... Uh, he conducted an experiment proving it wrong. So, one question will still remain. So, let's say that mali yun. So, ang tanong, where did the cells come from? Now, to answer that, here comes Rudolf Virchow. So, in 18... I don't know, it's Virchow, Virchow, your brother Virchow. Basta, in 1855, he published his famous aphorism. So... According to him, at yung sinabi niya is that Omnicellula is cellula. So, all cells arise from pre-existing cells. That was in 1855. And because of that, we came up. So, there are three tenets of the classical cell theory that were contributed by different people but most especially by Matthias Schleiden, Tudor Schwann, and Rudolf Virchow. Now, the first postulate, so take note of this, that the postulate must be in order. So, hindi siya yung irarambol rambol natin. So, when we say the first postulate of the cell theory, it is all living things are made up of cells. The second one is that the cell is the structural and the functional unit of all living things. Or they say that cell is the basic unit of life. And then, the third one is all cells come from pre-existing cells. Okay, now, but those are the classical cell theory. And then, in 1822 to 1844, 1884, sorry. So, here comes Gregor Mendel. So, that's why they started to uh, make the modern cell theory. So, according to Gregor Mendel, he conducted experiments uh, with uh, different varieties of pea plants and he is the father of modern genetics. Now, alam niyo na yun, he is very known for that. He studied genetics, he is the father of the modern genetics. So, and then another one is James Watson and Francis Crick. This is also very confident. Ano, uh, in the field of science, medyo controversial ito na sila yung nag ano niyan. But then they discovered the structure of the DNA. So because of those discovery, they come up with the modern cell theory. So the first three, the ba? We already discussed the three. All known living things are made up of cell. The cell is the structural and functional unit of life. 
of all living things, all cells come from pre-existing cells by cell division. And the fourth is, all cells contain hereditary information which is passed from cell to cell during cell division. And the fifth one is that all cells are basically the same um, basically the same in chemical composition and metabolic activities. And then the sixth is all basic chemical and physiological functions are carried out inside the cells. And the seventh is cell activity dep depends on the activities of subcellular structures of within the cell. So, yeah. So, in your notepad, you are going to write your the postulates of the cell theory and that's it you are going to make a timeline of the development of the cell theory so i know na medyo i talk fast so mabilis talaga ako magsalita guys abangan niyo na yung mga susunod kong vlog so ayoko kasi masyadong mahaba itong video na to so i hope nakinig kayo and may natutunan kayo sa first lesson natin which is the cell theory and if you're my student and you're watching this, I will be posting our practice tasks and assignments and activities at our Google Classroom. So you must check that out maybe tomorrow or today if you're watching this today. So that's it. So next, and dami kong so, diba? Sana binila yun. So um, next vlog is. Abangan nyo kasi that would be about the cell structure and functions. Uh, yun lang naman. I hope na... I hope that may natutunan kayo sa akin for this lesson. That's it. That's it for today's vlog. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share na na rin para madami mag-subscribe my YouTube channel Ayan. Ayan. Teacher Kim TV Teacher Kim TV so ah uh, yun lang yun lang guys um yun, um so next natin is so abangan nyo na lang madami ang vlog so buong lesson ng Gen Bio i-vlog ko yan at ililesson ko yan so watch out and subscribe na kayo sa YouTube channel ko bye